What is the least popular Cartoon Network show? Well, there's the very first Cartoon Network series ever called The Moxie Show. The cartoon is about a dog named Moxie that is Cartoon Network's janitor, and he secretly hijacks Cartoon Network on Sundays and airs his own show. And Moxie's sidekick Flea is actually voiced by Chris Rock. While the show isn't fully forgotten because it's known as Cartoon Network's first show ever, the same cannot be said for Nacho Bear, because this show only has 18 ratings on IMDb and was airing around the time that I was a kid and I still barely remember it. And Nacho Bear is about a bear and a raccoon that compete to eat a single nacho chip, but they never actually seem to be able to eat the chip and always run into trouble. YouTube has a decent amount of content of Nacho Bear, but majority of Secret Mountain 4 Awesomes episodes are lost media. This is the show I remember the most on this list. I vividly remember this guy, and on the wiki it turns out his name is actually Fart. Bro, no wonder this show got cancelled after only two seasons. Okay, I'll admit, as a kid I kind of liked it, but now that I rewatch it, it's just an even worse Uncle Grandpa. They even had a crossover episode. This show also looks like it just belongs on Adult Swim. Seriously, how is this a kid's show? Not many people remember this show, but it still has over 900 ratings on IMDb. So make sure to stay until the end because our final show literally has zero ratings on IMDb. Speaking of IMDb, our next show, Pet Alien, has only 200 ratings, and look at the photos they used to portray the show. Are you sure he's not the alien? Okay, I'm not gonna lie, this show is straight trash. I don't know how it's rated a 4 out of 10, it honestly deserves a 1. It's just the Timu version of Jimmy Neutron and has the worst 3D animation I have ever seen. And to think that this was actually aired by Cartoon Network is insane. Hey, at least we probably get a fire theme song though. This is definitely the worst show on this entire list, but the goofiest name goes to It has slightly less ratings than Pet Alien, but aired 4 years longer until 2010. It was originally a short film created by Dr. Seuss in 1950, but was later adapted into a Cartoon Network show in the 2000s about a boy named Gerald that only talks in stock sound effects. Bruh. Subscribe. Follow oh, us this Twitter link in the description. This show is clearly for a younger demographic than even most Cartoon Network shows, but is still somehow better than our last show, Pet Alien. We're now getting into the most obscure cartoons on this list because Gerald has 169 ratings, while our last cartoons have 22, 13, and 0 ratings on IMDb. During 2000 to 2001, Cartoon Network held a contest called The Big Pick, where 13 animators compete to get the most voted cartoon pilot from viewers at home, and first place would get a spot on Cartoon Network as a show. And Codename Kids Next Door actually ended up winning this competition in the final year and ended up becoming extremely successful. While the other 12 pilots that didn't win were kinda left to rot. Anyways, the last three cartoons on this list are the most forgotten shows from the big pick. Starting with Utica Cartoon. This show is so ahead of its time, it was made in 2001 but feels like it was made in the 2010s. It's a show about four friends. Dan the Bear, Micah the Monkey, Johnny the Cheetah, and Marty the Turtle. And the only episode that aired, Dan and Micah decide they're hungry so they go get some hot dogs. While ordering at the restaurant, Dan finds out the number of hot dogs he would normally order beats the record holder by 6 hot dogs. The cashier tells him if he finishes all 17 hot dogs, he gets to eat entirely for free! Oh. Hey, hey, save some of that for the dogs! He obviously easily beats the old record and starts eating hot dogs every single day until he goes up to 100. Yeah, 74. Hot dog. He quickly realizes this is way too much to eat, so him and his friends start thinking of ways to beat the old record by cheating, so they don't have to pay the $174. The first strategy was for Micah to insert himself in Dan's mouth and eat them for him, but quickly gets thrown out, and the reason Dan doesn't get disqualified is because he claims he had no idea there was a monkey in his mouth. I am shocked and appalled that I was served hot dogs containing mechanically unseparated monkeys. They do a couple more cheating tactics and strategies until finally, the cops show up. They say there's no pet monkeys allowed in the shop, and after getting arrested, they find out that it was their friends impersonating the police the entire time. This show is so entertaining, and it constantly gets compared to something like a regular show, and in my opinion, is the best show on this entire list. But for the most racist, I would definitely have to give it to Swaroop. This was offensive for even two 
2001 standards, I'm surprised Cartoon Network even let it air the pilot in the first place. It's a cartoon made by Mike Milo who worked on Chowder and Phineas and Ferb. The thing about this cartoon is it's racist and boring. It's about a 10 year old boy named Swaroop and his Indian family that moved to New Jersey. The only episode that isn't lost media is about how his neighbor Steve won a cow from a poker game. And since there's a stereotype with Indian people and cows or whatever, Swaroop decided to just straight up steal the cow and his family let him. That's pretty much all that happens in the pilot episode, but what's really interesting is what happened after. Mike Milo and Cartoon Network were in the talks of the show possibly becoming more than just a pilot episode, but the show was made right before 9-11 took place, so after 9-11, Cartoon Network decided to cut all possibilities of Saroop becoming a full-length show. But yeah, if I had to say one thing about the quality of the show, it's actually... We're finally on our final show that has zero ratings, Commander Cork. On IMDb, it has no picture, no introduction about the show, and no IMDb ratings. The crazy thing is that every website archive about the big pick never lists this show ever existing, but it's listed on IMDb as part of the big pick, and on YouTube, people in the comments remember it being part of the competition. The most views about this show only has 30k views from over 10 years ago, which shows how forgotten the show really is. Because because all the rest of the cartoons have around 100k views on YouTube. Anyways, it's about Commander Cork and these two random kids, and in the pilot, they run into trouble with the space alien trying to destroy the world. It feels like a very generic cartoon, and it doesn't stand out like any of the others from the big pick, which is probably why it's so forgotten. And I would imagine this show plays very close to last in the big pick.